what's intriguing about this material, these rock inscriptions, is that they come from pre-Islamic Arabia. That is, they're from the pure, they're they're from the Arabian Peninsula and adjacent areas before the rise of Islam. But unlike the material that informed our uh, traditional narratives, our traditional um, uh, ideas about pre-Islamic Arabia, these texts were produced by inhabitants from that time period and from those places. They are eyewitnesses. They're eyewitness accounts, you can say. And so, they're an entirely different kind of evidence. And once I became familiar with this kind of evidence and started working on it, I realized that, there were, that we were in fact talking about two different kinds, two different pre-Islamic Arabias, two completely different timelines. Huh? You have the pre-Islamic Arabia that we know from Muslim sources, uh, which we call the Jahiliya, the Age of Ignorance. And that pre-Islamic Arabia concerns primarily the events and the, the uh, political and cultural landscape of the peninsula in, in any real detail only a few centuries before the rise of Islam, whereas the pre-Islamic Arabia that we could know from inscriptions and from archaeology would st- stretch back thousands of years, right? Um, and all the way and extend all the way to the rise of Islam. And what was interesting is that the two pre-Islamic Arabias weren't always compatible. There were overlaps. But we often got a very different image of uh, pre-Islamic Arabia based on these documentary sources, eyewitnesses like the inscriptions, when we compare them to the accounts that um, that we find in Muslim sources. And so I, I uh, uh, and so there was this huge opportunity to learn about this place that in the popular imagination, we feel like we knew so much about, right? The pre-Islamic Arabian ideas about pre-Islamic Arabia uh, serve a really big, uh, uh, serve as an interpretive or an exegetical tool in, um, uh, in Muslim literature. And so, uh, and so there's this idea that we know quite a bit about how things were in the Jahiliya, that, you know, the Arabian Peninsula was uh, much more, iso- rather isolated, that uh, the Arabians were barbaric and, uh, and, and lacking writing and, and, and all of these sort of topoi. Uh, and that, um, well, that picture just looks completely different than what we see in the documentary sources where we where we have uh, civilizations, ancient civilizations going back to the uh, Bronze Age. Uh, we have writing, uh, copious amounts of writing all over the peninsula, extensive contacts with the uh, with the rest of the Near East. And indeed, uh, at least pre-Islamic South Arabia should properly be considered uh, one of the maybe the third pole of civilization in the uh, in the ancient Near East. 